Uh, okay. Using monsters like that to fight wars. Guess they got no more use for us. His body just split in two. Oh God! You wanted to kill me from the start. From the start. Killing strike. Triangle when an enemy is down. Alright. That's good to know. Yeah, actually, let me put, um... Where is it? Do I have a better salt sword, maybe? I don't. Um, yeah, I can put on the heavy armor if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. Because it makes me really heavy. I want to put a... Yeah, no. That's wrong. I want this to be the medicine. And I want shortcut six to be the stones. There we go. Nope, I don't see it. Oh, it needs to be here. That's quite confusing. I don't know what what these ones are then. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm here. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. Killing strike. Oh, I'm... Oh. Oh, I died. Oh, fuck. I was out of stamina. I didn't pay attention to that. That was stupid. Uh, do I need to collect everything downstairs now again? Because I don't really want to do that. Nope. Okay, good. Still, I think the rocking or the, the throwing the rock tactic is not that bad. Come on. Okay, that hurt me. Oh, I tried to avoid it, to avoid that, but didn't work. Medicine. I wish I had a bit more stamina. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. Good. Now, what about you, huh? Yeah, didn't think so. take medicine just to be full health rather be full health William this way why you lured me into a trap oh oh who are you Derek the executioner come on Derek Well, Derek, you really sucked. I'll be honest, you kind of sucked. Ah, it's you. 
The man with the guardian spirit. That's me. You're the guy with the red eyes. The red eyes bald head guy. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. It's time for your execution. Oh shit, Derek is angry now. I shouldn't have told him he sucked. Oh, he is pissed. Oh. Oh damn, that hurt a lot. Like seriously, that hurt a lot. It took me quite a while to beat this guy the first time. Oh. Uh. What? Living weapon when Amrita Gouch is full. I don't know what the Amrita Gouch is. Do I need to do like this? Oh. Whoa. I haven't done this before. What's going on? Oh, damn! Oh, well done. Quite a feat. He has some kind of power as well. <laughs> Why does he make all those, like, shitting sounds? Like he has to take a shit. Are those guards not at all surprised with what happened on top of this tower? Oh shit, I got shot. There were, like, there was literally, like, a fucking... Eight feet tall monster on the tower not eight feet uh, maybe five feet we still got one feather that will keep us through the night The hell of the trow sank. Why the hope vanished without a trace. Those are all Dutch names. The good news of the blighter boats. Blighter boats help. Only Liefde remained. Liefde. Hope. The blighter boats help. Those are all Dutch names. Pretty funny. Makes sense, you know, in these times. The times this is taking place, like the Dutch Armada was quite good. So it looks like only the love ship remained, if you know what I mean, baby. Hop on the love ship.
Before I begin my preparations for landfall, I leave once more through the curious book that I uh, I had once I chanced upon. Sorry. Recording recorded inside are the memoirs of a sailor who had once paid visit to the land of Sipangul. I don't know if you say it like that, but I'm gonna call it like that. Sipangul! Precisely how this document wound up in the hold of this ship, when its offer clearly belonged to the crew of a different boat, is beyond me. But here I am, poring over his pages all the same, and not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me above all else were the memoirs were the memoirs many accounts of Zimbangu's diverse armor and weaponry. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh cool, we can choose our weapon. Like this is where I left off when um, I played through the first time. Uh, so anything beyond this is a uh, blind playthrough. Um, swords, dual swords, spare axe or kusarigama. Kusarigama. That's cool. That's like kunai with chain, I guess, sort of deal. Uh, like I said, not really an X guy. Don't really feel spares, spears as well. Don't feel spares. Uh, don't feel spears either. Dual swords is pretty cool, and sword is always cool. And the kusari gamma is pretty awesome as well. Um. So this one is hard. This one is skill, body, stamina, and dexterity. Um, I'll just keep the sword. I feel like that's just like the best thing to do. Hard. I don't know what hard means. I think that's health. Skill is maybe stamina, or maybe body is stamina, or maybe stamina is stamina. <laughs> um, I'm thinking the stamina one is probably the stamina one. Um, let's go for the sword. I feel the sword the most. The sailor from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Sipangu and decided in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail of establishments in Sipangu called Dojo where people including samurai congre congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel so I'm there in the flesh watching these warriors as they train. Samurai is master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? Oh cool, we can choose another weapon. Okay. Um, if I was in a different... I Probably this one. This one is fucking cool, right? The Kusarigama. Yeah, I feel like if you choose dual swords, it's kind of lame because you already choose one sword. So, so I guess I'll go for the Kusarigama. I think that's really cool. A weapon that combines a sickle and weighted chain. Master of this unusual weapon requires a deep understanding of many special techniques. The sickle allows for quick strikes in close range, and the chain and weight can be thrown to add range to the weapon's offensive repertoire. I like it. I'll go for that one. The Wemro also asserts that the samurai are knowledgeable in the martial arts. First, they know which fighting stance to use in each situation, high, mid, or low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves for the next strike by focusing their key or inner energy. Third, once their key is ready, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. Okay, this sounds very vague to me, but I think it will be clear later on. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts. Okay, that's totally not how I feel, but uh, sure, main character, uh, I believe you. And have experimented many times with each technique. What? Uh, the member states Sipangu is home to 8 million gods and other- What? 8 million? What? That's all odd. 8 million gods and other deities? Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? How does someone... Did someone count all of them? It's a freaking million. But as I cast my gaze to the shore, I am stuck by the sensation that some mystic power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of something, something. Saoris? I don't know what that is. I pull out the memoir once more and survey each page until I arrive at the guardian spirit that best matches the force I am sensing. 
I am sensing the force. Oh, cool. The, our guardian spirit. We can go for a wolf, a shark, or a hawk. Okay. Kato. Kato. Strength plus one. A wolf and guardian spirit of the fire elemental strengthens the attacking power of those in its protection. Alright. Shark, guardian spirit of the water. Yeah. To sense enemies, not really feeling that. A hawk. Wind element increases evasive abilities. Okay, I do like that. Uh, so either strength, attacking power, or evasiveness. What's cooler? A fucking flaming dog or a hawk? Let's be honest. A flaming dog is pretty much... It's more cooler than... Or cooler than a hawk, right? But let's go for the dog. Let's go for the... Uh, wolf. Kato. Kato. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. I like this. Close the memoir. Yes. Is this okay? Yes, it is. You are a first time player. We recommend a tutorial mission. Do you wish to begin a tutorial mission? Yeah, sure. Why not, you know? 